Hi, today we're making breakfast pinwheel with the this quick best recipe cookbook. And in the original recipe we have currants, but I'm replacing those with raisins. So it's more like a cinnamon roll. Okay, to start off with, we're going to start with our this quick. We need two and a quarter cups. I have two cups in here now. Here's our quarter. And then next we're going to add half a cup of milk. And we're just going to stir this up until a little soft dough forms. So we got it to roll into our soft dough. I covered the uh, counter with some Bisquick, and now we're just going to roll it and knead it about five times. Next, we're going to roll our dough into about 11 by 8 inch uh, rectangle. So that I'm going to use my roller. And just work in the middle and push them out to the sides to get your rectangle. Next I have a tablespoon of softened butter here. And we're just going to spread that over our rectangle. Make sure we get it all on there to get that nice buttery taste in. There we go. Okay, next. We're going to get this bowl and we're going to make, make our mi middle mixture. So we're going to start with a quarter cup of sugar. Half a cup of chopped walnuts, half a cup of raisins, and this could also be replaced with the original currant, is what they had, and some sh cinnamon, a tablespoon of cinnamon. Now we're going to mix all this up. After it's all mixed up, we're going to add it to the middle part of our dough. Actually, we'll add it all over. Make sure that sugar gets distributed. Might have to press slightly make sure that they stick. Mmm, that smells so good already. Okay. Now we're going to roll up the dough. So what we're going to do, make sure all this is pressed in, we start from this side, the long side of the roll, and just slowly curl it up. This is why it's important to have the this quick mix rolled out onto the counter so it doesn't stick. And we're just going to roll it up like you would a carpet. I press down a little bit as I go, make sure it's all sticking in there. Okay, when we get to this edge here, flip it, make sure we seal the edges. Kind of just give it a little pinch. Next, we're going to cut our rolls. You want the rolls to be about a quarter, well, three-fourths inch slices. And then we're going to place them right here on our parchment lined cookie sheet. I'd like to see what one looks like. See that? See all the cinnamon and raisin swirl in it? We'll just add that on here. And I'm going to continue on with my log and add them to our cookie sheet. So 
So now I have another tablespoon of melted butter here, and we're just going to brush the tops with that. And then these are going to go in the oven, a 400 degree oven, for 8 to 10 minutes. When you take them out, let them cool for about 10 more minutes, and we'll do our topping. We'll check on them in 8 to 10 minutes. All right, so here are our finished product, almost finished product. Next, we're going to make the glaze. And here I have three-fourths cup of powdered sugar. We're going to add a quarter teaspoon of vanilla. And then we're going to add some milk. It's probably going to end up being about a tablespoon. But if you want, you can just add a teaspoon at a time until it reaches the consistency that you like. So we'll mix all this up. If the glaze is too thick, just add more milk. If it's too thin, add more powdered sugar. I think I'm going to thin mine out just a little bit more. Yeah, this is the kind I like. And now we're going to drizzle this over our cinnamon rolls. A good tip here is to put it a tray underneath on top of your parchment paper, though. So then all you have to do for cleanup is throw out the parchment paper. And you can use a spoon for this, too. I'm just lazy. I want to use this. Don't want to dirty any more dishes, so I'll just use this. And here we have our completed breakfast pinwheel. Hope you like it.